If you guys need coins to get started on this amazing sniping method, go check out bestmobilecoins.com. You'll get your coins to start off in only a couple minutes, and the rates are super cheap. Use my code SABER for 10% off your entire order. Yo, what is going on guys? Sabertooth back on Mad Mobile, and today I am bringing you guys the second upload of the day, and it is the video you've all been waiting for, a brand new sniping method, a coin making method, and this one guys is an absolute banger. We're gonna take a look at my auctions right here, and you guys can see I have quite a lot of items sold. I'm gonna claim some of these items, we're gonna talk about what players are super valuable in this filter, why it works so well, and how you guys can begin making millions just like I have all these auctions are from probably the past I'd say four to five days maybe so I've made all of these coins in the past four or five days so keep that in mind my profits it's gonna be in a little less than a week so if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button real quick I think we're maybe 250 subscribers away when I'm making this video from 35,000 subscribers so every single one helps I'm sorry if my notifications didn't go out on my video earlier today I don't know why that was but just make sure to hit that bell so you guys actually do get notified something was messed up and make sure to hit that like button if we can get a thousand likes on this video I will keep bringing out coin making methods so let's get right into this I'm scrolling through my auctions and we're gonna take a look at the items that are sold for 30k Bud Dupree Bradley Roby Ronald Darby all these guys consistently sell for 30,000 coins just 30,000 coins Michael Kendricks as well is another one who sells for 30k and finally, Miles Jack, if we can find one, here's one right here. He sells for 30K. All the other ones, though, all the other 79s, those are the only ones we're focusing on today. These all sell consistently for 20,000 coins, but there are certain ones who are much better, such as Kendricks, Darby, Bradley Roby, Bud Dupree, and even this TJ Carey here, you won't see him much on this filter, but he can sell for 35 to 40,000 coins. Everybody else sells for 20K pretty easily, and... There's just a certain couple who go for more. I'll go over them once again. Bud Dupree, Michael Kendricks, Bradley Roby, Ronald Darby, and Miles Jack. So those are the cards you're going to be looking out for. Let's go ahead and dismiss all these auctions and see how many. And we can get 1.4 million coins. So those are all of my coins over the past four or five days that I've made from this filter alone. I have claimed auctions from other filters and stuff. So I haven't been only making coins from this, but this is a primary filter that I like to use. And I thought you guys might want to know it as well. So let's get into the teams. The teams you want to exclude are the Bears, the Bengals. The Browns are a tricky one. There is a certain cornerback that you can find out of this filter who can go for 20,000 coins. But it also shows up with Sean Cole. And there actually is one, Jason McCourty on the block. He'll sell for 20,000 coins. But Sean Coleman, he struggles to sell for 20K, which is the reason I exclude him. Take out the Cardinals, the 49ers, Falcons. You guys saw the rest of the teams. For positions, you want O-Tackle, Fullback, Cornerback, D-Tackle, Linebacker, Middle Linebacker, and all special teams positions. You can kind of play around with things, but this is what I find works best for me. Price, I like to go under 12,000 coins because pretty much anything you snipe for under 12K is going to be solid. This Steven Paella right here, he can sell for 20,000 coins pretty much every single time. You may have to relist these cards maybe once, twice, three times. So you'll probably sell them within one day at least of relisting them, but you're not going to sell them immediately. You can sell them immediately for probably around 17k, but I like to just squeeze out that little extra profit, especially if I don't need the coins back right away. But if you go under 12,000 coins, you're guaranteed to make a solid amount of profit. Now after 12,000 coins, if there's nothing there, I bump it up to 15k and look for those certain cards I was talking about. Darby, Roby, Bud Dupree, Michael Kendricks, and Miles Jack. So I'm just reloading here like crazy. We're going to see if we can get a snipe, hopefully on camera, and see if, if we can make some profit. I'll probably do at least a round or two so you guys can get an idea of the cards you're going to be looking at and the process. So no auctions found. So let's go quickly, buy now to 15K, and see if there's anything decent there. Scroll to the back because you want to just overlook Rameek Wilson completely in some of these other cards. We're looking just for... Okay, so there is a Michael Kendrick. So let's pick him up right away, and we get him. This guy as well is good, Dominic Easley and the fullback. All those are pretty good. Here's another D tackle actually, so let's pick him up. He can go for 20 to 23,000 coins. And you know what, why not? Let's go with Kareem Jackson and even this Hubbard. All these guys sell for 20K, nothing more than 20K usually, but that Michael Kendricks is going to go for 30,000 coins if you guys continually relist. And the fullback can go actually for a little more than 20K. So let's put those cards up. 
that was a very successful round actually you guys saw even though we didn't get it for under 12,000 coins we got them all for 13k which really is pretty similar i guess i just had this darby on my bench so i'll list him up and these kendricks up for 29999 a piece and these guys should sell after a while because they're really fast cards that's the reason that these guys all sell jack dupree all of them are very fast for their position and they're 79 overall which is just one overall away from elite and they're very popular and well-known cards so they do sell pretty well now some cards that you want to just completely overlook when you're going to 15k Ramik wilson you can overlook him kareem jackson is a bit tough to sell at 20,000 coins chris hubbard he will sell at 20,000 coins but once you use the filter more and more often you're gonna notice some players that just simply are there all the time and you just kind of want to overlook those cards and not buy them you're mainly looking for those five target cards once again i can't stress this enough miles jack bud dupree michael kendricks ronald darby and bradley roby so if we total all this up and we do have an auction sold as blake bortles if we total all this up it looks like from this round we got maybe i don't know let me go check i think probably around 17 15 to 70 k from the kendricks probably around 40,000 coins just from this round so that's a really successful round in my opinion that's a lot of coins right there and let's just do one more round so you guys can get an idea of the cards that you can get from this filter see you guys in a couple minutes so here we are guys uh the auctions from last round are still up so i'm just trying to see if we can get one more rounded here before the end of the video trying to get a couple more snipes so you guys can see this really does work once again, all these cards will sell at 20,000 coins. If you want to sell a little under to get your coins back quicker, then go ahead and do that because you're going to have to relist these maybe two, three times, but they will end up selling, especially these better guys, the five good guys that I talked about. But we're just going to do one more round and see if we can hit it big here. I'm hoping that the round drops soon because I think it's been almost five minutes since the last one dropped. So let's take a look if we can get anything crazy. If there's any cards that look completely out of the normal not out of the normal completely just different than what you see before pick them up they're probably good 24 7s of just cards that normally aren't under this filter just buy them and hopefully they'll go for more because if you're not seeing them a lot that probably means that they're rare and here's our drop bud dupree can we get this card oh no okay so he was gonna be so let's go with this darby Eleven thousand coins that is a good snipe on ronald darby can we get this green jackson and any chance of fullback and we get him what a round 7500 for the fullback that's 14k there darby that's like 17,000 coins unfortunately we couldn't get kendricks or dupree who are both really good snipes but kareem jackson darby and the fullback i'm just not even gonna try to pronounce his name I'm just calling him the raiders fullback but that's about 30,000 coins in profit there really really good stuff I mean, this is a great round, and this is a good example of what you're going to see every round. Maybe not every round is going to have five cards, but you're always going to see something decent. And if you can get at least one of those key cards every round, you're going to be making bank on this filter. I can tell you guys that confidently for certain. This is a very, very good filter. If you guys want to see more coin making methods in the future, just let me know by hitting that like button. I mean, if we can get a thousand likes, I will try to make another one very soon because it seems like a lot of you guys appreciate these and they're one of the most popular videos on my channel thank you guys so much for watching once again if you have not already hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so youtube doesn't mess you up stay hungry stay humble go out there make a ton of coins guys and remember hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard i'll catch you guys in the next video peace